Hello everyone, Chillstorm here for another Chill Gaming. And before we begin, let me reintroduce to you the resources. So first for the foraging, we have wild grass, herb grass, cotton wool, silk ball, and then for the logging, we have the log, the pale soft wood, the light timber, the sturdy timber, and then for the mining, we have the rugged boulder, the copper ore, the iron ore, and finally the tin ore. So um, just to let you know, this is not about uh, better gathering tips or uh, worker gathering tips. This is um, about looting specific resources from the mobs in the map as a drop. All right. So if you haven't been paying attention, you might be surprised, but if you are paying attention, you might have um, an idea of, of uh, what I'm talking about. So but first, let me tell you where um, they are located. So these are the ones that I have uh, identified so far. So first, uh, for the rugged boulder, you can um, loot them um, through the golems in ruins excavation sites and uh, rumbling lands um also yeah here we go rumbling lands although um if i try to let's say scroll down through the um, you know lootable items you will see that um rugged boulder is not part of it so um but it, it is um you, you'll be able to loot them uh from the golems uh next would be let's see copper ore uh, copper ore can be uh, looted in uh, uh, through the ferrets in Omar Lava Cave, uh, Omar Lava Fields, and of course uh, Nightmare as well. Uh, another one would be the, the mutated ones in Marnie's uh, underground and uh, underground facility and also uh, Marnie's second lab. Um, also, um, next up would be Iron Ore, that would be in Helm's Cave, um, through the Helms, in Helm's Cave, Helm Highlands, and also Helm Outpost. Uh, next up would be Tin Ore, you can loot Tin Ore in Sousen Garrison, Sousen Outpost, and Sarma Outpost. For the wild grass, it can be looted in Schultz uh, Coastal Fort and Schultz Defense Outpost, as well as uh, Schultz uh, Shore Camp. Now, for the herb grass, um, there are a lot of um, maps where you can loot the herb grass. One would be Elric, uh, the Elrics in Elric Shrine, and also Elric Canyon as well as Canyon of Corruption. Now for the herb grass as well, you can see that if you go to South Media, um, Mains, in Mains Cave, and also Mains Hideout. Um, for herb grass, um, we still have also uh, under Southwest Calpheon, um, you can see herb grass in Shadow Knights in um, the Hidden Monastery and also the Abandoned Monastery. Now for the Cotton Wall, um, you can find that in, uh, let's see, Wandering Rogues in Wandering Rogues Camp and also Wandering Rogues Den. So uh, the, these two maps right here. Um, let's see what else I am missing. Oh, Rugged Boulder can also be seen in uh, in the Witches, in Witches Chapel and um, Hexa Sanctuary. I know, I know my list is not complete yet because, uh, for example, right now, um, I'm not able to locate where the Silk Ball is. And also for all the logging items, such as the log itself, the pale softwood, the, the light timber, the sturdy timber, 
I, I can't find it. Um, I don't know where. Um, I know it's it, it might be out there somewhere, but you know what? You know, it actually doesn't really matter. Um, I'll tell you why later on. But first, uh, let me just show you um, that yes, you can loot. Um, were you able to see that iron ore? Okay. Um, let me go ahead and uh, kill some more. Um, just look at the left uh, portion of my screen. We're in. There we go. Iron ore. See that iron ore, lightstone tea. Um, let's try to get another one. So I'm, I've been getting a lot of junks, really. Um, we, we, we all do. Um, and then rarely, maybe let's say we let's say once every twenty seconds. See another iron ore here. Um, third iron ore. So I'm getting a lot of iron ore here because Helm Highlands is all about, or should I say Helms, um, they all drop uh, iron ores. So um, let's try to check uh, another map. Um, let's go with um, the herb grass, uh, poss possibly in Elric Shrine um, or, or the Elric Canyon. So let's see, North Media, Elric Shrine. So let's go to a very nice spot. Um, I like the one that's uh, on top because there are just a lot of mobs in there. Even though like there are a lot of players here. Oh, I have it all by myself. Oh, and there's another violent mob too. How lucky is that? Okay, so let's start. Um, wait, let me get the violent mob first. Because that's pretty neat. Oh, there we go. So I'm getting cultist tokens. Um, these are junk, and now looking for my lovely herb grass. Okay. So full of junks. Um, we're getting books from the pets. Uh -huh. Just be a, a little patient with me. Let's go to this um, big cluster of mobs here to increase our chances. Because it's all about RNG, really. Oh, I, I'm getting more light stones than the actual herb grass. Cultist tokens. So for, for the junk, um, you're actually getting you know one, two, uh, three at a time. But for uh, the resources, you're only getting one a piece uh, each time it pops out. So it's very rare. Um, it's really not something that um, you need to rely on. Um, of course, the, the best uh, would be your gatherers, uh, definitely, um, in terms of uh, getting the specific uh, resource that you want, uh, given that they have you know, a very high vitality. Oh, conden condensed dark energy. Cool. And I'm not yet getting my herb grass. I don't know why. Should come out pretty soon. Cultist tokens, a lot of them, but that's okay. I mean, I'm getting a lot of silver by just by doing this. Um, green skill book. All right, ancient gold coin. That'd be nice. Still trying. So you see. Um, what I've been through just to you know check out all the maps and um, trying to look for these very rare resources when you try to, to try to grind them. Oh man, getting getting a lot of cultist tokens. Come out, there we go, herb grass. Finally, finally after what two three minutes we got one single herb grass. So. Okay, um, he, here's the deal, um, because right now, um, uh, I told you before that I, I was not able to find the silk ball, right? Um, and also all the logging items, but that's okay. Let's say, um, if you try to check your resources, let's say, what if currently I am running, I'm actually running low on silk ball right now. See, I only have 4,500, but the rest I have like, you know, 28,000, 10,000 of these, five digits. So it's okay. It's okay that... Um, we're not able to locate Silk Ball because um, basically you're just you're just w one character, right? So what if let's say um, for my strategy I go for uh, let's say I, I go for Iron Ore, ore all the way. Iron Ore, um, I'll stay in Helm's Cave 
um, for as long as I want. And that's fine um, because that's uh, basically telling your workers that, hey, uh, you know what, workers, um, you know, I got iron ore with me. So I'll take care of this um, in the field. So you take care of the 11, um, 11 other resources. You see, you see what I'm saying? So um, you, you can stay in, in any, any map that you want wherein it uh, drops resources. And uh, yeah, and then tell your workers that, you know, take, take care of the 11 others. So I can basically, you know, go to Helms and then um, uh, just keep on booting iron ore as much as I can so that my workers, they, they don't have to gather there. They don't have to gather iron ore whenever you're in your camp. So yeah, um, basically uh, that's it. Um, there are some, maybe there, there are some maps that haven't been through. Uh, especially the ones that I can't um, loot anymore. Um, let's let um, let me let me show you. Um, let's say in Southwest Calpion, uh, you will see here um, on the northern part of the map, uh, the Catfish Man um, is already colorless to me, so that means I'm not able to check the loot there uh, because basically they they can't drop anything for me anymore. So I I'm going to um, put the list that I have in the description and then uh, update it um, since striker is coming out next week so i'll start level one and i'll uh, basically take note of all the resources that are being looted in the uh, lower level maps um, you can also help me out um, to complete the list uh, put it in the comment section below um, but as of right now um, i'll post um, on the description um, all my findings so far Let's, uh, let's all have it updated, um, keep on grinding. And also the, the reason that I made this video because you know, um, merchant tree um, requires so much resources, especially if you are you know, exchanging your resources for uh, let's say uh, black stones or condensed energies. Um, it's, they're going to need a lot. Um, and we haven't even you know, started yet. Um, it's, and it's just the beginning. Uh, because once you, let's say, increase your amity or rapport uh, with your uh, merchant traders, then it, it, I believe it will require more resources for certain items. So yeah, um, definitely, definitely work on, on this. Uh, keep on grinding, keep on leveling, um, keep on playing, definitely. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.